everyone. Um, so, um, in terms of uh, e-health initiatives for the country, a lot of it has been uh, dictated in terms of the governance structure that uh, has been established since, uh, I think, 2014. We already have a National e-health steering committee, which basically provides the directions on how e-health uh, implementations and uh, e-health strategies will be implemented in the country. Um, it is chaired by the secretaries of health, science, and technology. Uh, and other members include um, uh, representatives from PhilHealth, from the Academe, the University of the Philippines, Manila, representatives from DICT or the Department of uh, ICT. Um, and a, a lot of our, a lot of the work that's been done uh, and has been uh, pushed forward by the National Eagle Steering Committee has been uh, through, um, that has been vetted from advisory um, body called the National E-Health Technical Working Group. Um, it is chaired by the Department of Health uh, and uh, the members include uh, representatives from PhilHealth, uh, UP Manila, uh, Department of Science and Technology, and Department of ICT. All of this actually dovetails in that everything has to be integrated with the Philippine Health Agenda. Uh, the uh, and the achieve agenda of our president, uh, President Duterte. Um, the letter I for achieve, A C H I E V E, is uh, for investing in e health and data for decision making. And the, the two primary uh, reasons for that and for the use of e health um, in the country is to be able to improve the access to quality care. And the other one is to be able to improve uh, decision making by having uh, quality data that's being uh, collected, stored, utilized, and disposed of afterwards. Um, in our current climate of uh, data privacy, we also have to um, consider how we'll be able to um, move forward with all of our technologies, obviously. And with all of the with all of the data that's being collected as part of big data and data analytics, um, for let for letter I again, um, the two most important strategies will be the use of electronic medical records for health facilities. Um, several memoranda and circulars have been released, uh, in, in, that's from uh, the Philippine Health Insurance Corporation, in terms of having um, reimbursements be processed by having all of the claims uh, submitted through electronic means. And there are six, uh, there are only six accredited electronic uh, medical records in the country with the Health Information Tracking System, the Department of Health's iClinic SIS, uh, Wireless Access for Health, um, Shine OS from Ateneo, Ihatid, and SegWorks. Uh, and SegWorks is actually um, a HIT-P which is a health IT provider, and they are the ones who actually process all of the claims for hospitals. They have, uh, SegWorks has implemented, uh, uh, has had a hospital-wide implementation in Davao City, in the Southern Philippines Medical Center. Um, part, of, uh, part two is on investing in um, surveys, um, administrative data, for, uh, and for vital statistics and to be able to support the needs in order to improve uh, delivery of quality services. So a lot of this actually is moving moving forward, having all of the data be collected electronically and having all of the, and having all of the facilities be connected at the same time. There's also what we call the Philippine Health Information Exchange that actually follows the open health information exchange architecture or framework where in all of the point of care applications uh, from the different facilities will have to connect or will, will, need, will need to just to connect to one interoperability layer and then in turn that interoperability layer will connect to several components such as the client registry or the patient registry for all of us who are covered by PhilHealth uh, facility registry in order to cover all of the facilities that are registered as part of the National Health Facility Registry, a Health Worker Registry, a Terminology Services Registry. These efforts are for having 
our, our shared health record be available. So let's say if you are a pregnant mother and you would want to have all of your um, prenatal uh, visits be processed or be, be taken care of in encounters in primary care facilities, so obviously you have a record there. But currently, if you have to transfer to another facility or or, or if you will have to undergo labor at, the, at that time, you will have to go to a line in clinic or a hospital in that sense. And then they will have to create a new record for you. By having a shared health record, it actually seamlessly integrates all of that. The record that's being uh, created at the primary care level will be passed on to the next facility over so and then it will be mapped so that the, the patient who was registered in that primary care facility is the same patient that's being seen and being taken care of and that is a part of the continuity of care uh, that's being provided for that particular patient. So, thank you so much. Um, if there are any questions, please let me know.